らっしゃい。はい。えー<笑>本日こうしてウクライナ支援に関する共同宣言を発表できることを大変嬉しく思っています。I am pleased to be able to announce the joint declaration on support for Ukraine today.5 月の G7 広島サミットでは、幅広い招待国の皆さんも含めた議論を通じて、世界のどこであっても力による一方的な現状変更は許してはならない。また、法の支配に基づく自由で開かれた国際秩序を守り抜いていかなければならない、こうした点において一致をすることができました。At the G7 Hiroshima summit, by engaging in discussions that included a wide range of invited countries, we agreed that unilateral attempts to change the status quo by force or coercion are unacceptable anywhere in the world, and to safeguard a free and open international order based on the rule of law. Hiroshima summit, から時を置かずして、こうして G7 首脳と。ボルディミルで再び集まることができたこと、意義深いものだと思います。I feel that it is truly meaningful that we, the G7 leaders and Vladimir, have gathered once again today. 今後、ウクライナ支援という考え方を共有するいかなる国にもこの宣言は開かれています。多くの国々がこの宣言に参加することを期待いたします。Going forward, this declaration will be open to any country that shares the intention to support Ukraine. I hope many countries will choose to join. G7 はこれからもウクライナに寄り添っていきます。我々の連帯は決して揺らぐことはありません。The G7 will continue to stand by Ukraine. Our solidarity will never waver. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let me start off by saying something I hadn't planned on saying. You know, I think there are very few people in Europe or in the continental United States and the North American continent that thought this man would stand up. Come to the aid and assistance of Ukraine. He increased his military budget. He stepped up Japan, Japan, because he understood that when any part of the world has 185,000 people, soldiers crossing a border, stealing sovereignty from another nation, that it affects the whole world. I want to thank you again publicly. We just concluded、uh, the first meeting of the NATO Ukraine Council, and、uh, where、uh, all our allies agreed Ukraine's future lies in NATO. That's not a surprise to any of us, I don't think. I hope it's not a surprise to you, Mr. President. Allies all agreed to lift the requirements for membership action plan for Ukraine and to create a path to NATO membership while Ukraine continues to make progress on necessary reforms. But we're not waiting for that process to be finished to make the long term commitments that we're making to Ukraine's security. Vladimir and I, we, the, I should, shouldn't be so familiar.、Uh, Mr. Zelensky and I、uh, talked about the kind of guarantees we could make in the meantime when I was in Ukraine and when we met、uh, in other places. And so today,、uh, the,、uh, the long term commitments we're making are. Are backed up by the notion that in the meantime, we're going to provide security to Ukraine、uh, for its needs and against any aggression that may occur. Today, the members of the G7 are launching a joint declaration of support for Ukraine to make it clear that our support will last long into the future. This starts a process by which each of our nations and any other nation who wishes to participate will negotiate long term bilateral security commitments. With and to Ukraine. We're going to help Ukraine build a strong, capable defense across land, air, and sea, and from which we'll force、uh, the, it be a force of stability in the region and deter against any and all threats. I want to thank my fellow G7 
leaders and President Zelensky for their work to make this happen. I think it's a powerful statement, a powerful statement of our commitment to Ukraine as it defends its freedom today and as it rebuilds the future. For, and that we're going to be there as long as that takes. And again, I thank all my colleagues for their support for this. Thank you very much, Mr. President, President Biden, uh, Prime Minister Kishido, um, Chancellor, oh, see, see you. Chancellor Scholz, Prime Minister Sunak, uh, President Macron, uh, Prime Minister Trudeau, Prime Minister Meloni, President Michel, President von der Leyen. Great honor to be here. The outcome of the NATO summit in Vilnius is very much needed and meaningful success for Ukraine. And I'm grateful to all leaders in NATO countries for very practical and unprecedented support, considering decades of our relations support for Ukraine. Today, there are security guarantees for Ukraine on the way to NATO, an important package of security guarantees. Today, we are coordinating with the G7 countries the framework for security guarantees that shall be further extended through arrangements with our key partners, bilateral and multilateral agreements. And Ukrainian delegation is bringing home significant security victory for the Ukraine, for our country, for our people, for our children. It opens for us absolutely new security opportunities and I thank everyone who made it possible. Thank you, dear colleagues. Thanks you. Thanks Lithuania and Jens Stoltenberg. Thank you very much. Slava Ukraine. This concludes the speaking program. Please remain seated for the family photo.